stingers in. Ah, yeah, ah, ah, ah. Mm, mm, that burns. Yep, it's lodging the skin. It's lodging the skin. Oh no, pop the stinger out. It popped the stinger out right away. You guys see that venom sack? It's like, you see it pumping? Ah, ah, mm, you see it going? Those are nerves, those are nerves continuing to pump venom. Let's get in to the official BSI rating of the giant honeybee right now. On intimidation, the giant Asian honeybee demands respect. It's easily three times larger than your average European honeybee, and with those white tiger stripes, they warn you to stay away. But being as common as they are, and compared to some of the other stinging insects I've encountered on this trip, it doesn't quite make it to the top tier. But still, these bees have a reputation in Thailand for a very potent sting, and with that, I give it a 6.3 out of 10. For pain, once that stinger dug into my skin, it almost immediately started pumping me with venom. Once it released its stinger and venom sac though, the burning worsened and quickly radiated through my arm as I received a full dose. It definitely hurt more than your typical honeybee. That said, the pain was manageable, but I did have to closely monitor my symptoms to make sure I wasn't having an allergic reaction. Given all that, it earns a 6.6 .6 out of 10 for pain. The aftermath of the giant honeybee is where it really showed up leaving behind a lot of swelling and tingling on my arm for almost 72 hours. And it radiated heat, and I had the typical reaction that I would see from a honeybee sting, which was totally expected, but still quite annoying. For that, it gets an aftermath score of a 7.1 out of 10. All combined, the giant honeybee ranks at a 6.7 out of 10 on the Brave Wilderness BSI.